What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. I forgot the timing for this, so I am a little late, because this is actually going live in like 12 minutes. But, we do have the next uh, equipment creation event to be used in Ordinal Battle 5 coming out uh, in just a little... Actually, by the time this video is up, it should already be live. Um... Usually, if, if you're new to this, usually like a week or so before the next Ordinal Battle, they release one of these for equipment that's going to give some kind of bonus. So like right here for the equipment right here, uh, bonuses equip characters in Ordinal Battle Volume 5 receive minus 10% damage. And same thing with the accessory here. Uh, the boss is going to be Dark Elemental uh, Gleam Eyes. Um... Which is kind of weird, because you would you would think if you're boosting green characters, you'd have the event for green, so... Um, but that's fine. Um, there's plenty of light characters right now to kind of deal with this. But, um... As per usual, as I always... So, yeah, 3-2 to 4-1. So, 4-1 will be when we get our next uh, equipment creation event for that. Which, next month should probably be, like, Earth or something. Um, just because those are the two colors we're kind of lacking the most. Now, the thing with this is, um, last month we had fire for our equipment creation event, which... Okay, well, here is... <laughs> apparently the game data wants to download now in the middle of the video. But basically what I was going to say is that, um... So we had fire equipment event last month for the... Uh, equipment creation to use an ordinal battle. And then we had a whole bunch of fire units come out. We had the fire Dokiro that came with the Fanatio. We had the T Cinroni that were seasonal Valentine's units that were also fire. So I do expect a decent amount of wind units this month. Maybe not all wind, but wind and earth are our two most lacking events. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, the fire event goes away in nine minutes. Um, I'm actually curious. Does this have very hard up yet? No. That's probably going to be coming relatively soon. Um, so the fact that we are getting wind, I do expect, you know, not everything to be coming this month to be wind. But I do expect a decent amount of wind units. At least probably two or three. Um, maybe not the next exact new banner, but... It would make sense because obviously you want to put the equipment of a specific color on that colored unit. So, the next order battle... When does this one end? Um, let's look over here. 3-9. So, pretty much the 10th. So, that's a week from tomorrow. So, next Tuesday. Um, we should be getting the next ordinal battle, which we'll use this new equipment for. Um... So maybe like two or three days before we could see some kind of wind banner uh, drop uh, with some maybe with it with an event because the last like regular event we got was this one it goes away in three days so this could actually tell us when we might see the next actual event you know this could with this going away in three days maybe three days for you know Thursday um, maybe we could see a new banner like a wind banner but it'll be interesting to see either way so. As per usual, I would recommend farming up just one team's worth. We don't have the rules for the next Ordinal Battle yet, but it's usually, up until this point, it's always been the same thing. You know, you have four characters you can bring in with you. So farm up and max limit break four pieces of the uh, armor and four pieces of the accessory. The accessory doesn't drop as frequently as the armor, so you'll have some extra armor you're going to have to sell in the meantime. But overall, it's not that bad. But I just wanted to make this quick little video just to kind of go over it since it's going to be starting in a few minutes when I'm recording this. Um, there will be some diamonds to get from it. Probably a good like 20 to 30 you can probably get from just doing it and the rewards and stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, as for wind units, we really don't have that much in the game. I think it's really just the original Leafa, And then we had those nighttime... Uh, Alice and Asuna that I believe were both wind. So those are the only three units right now people would be using in this uh, Ordo battle. So I do expect another banner with two new units. Hopefully they can delve into some characters that don't actually have units yet. I mean, obviously the first main pick in my mind is Renly. But uh, he is a War of Underworld character and I'd like to see more uh, regular Alicization and maybe some other characters. Um... You know, maybe like a uh, Silica or um, 
Lizbeth, which I don't think, let's actually look real quick. Um, not what I want to click. I want to turn, let's go to filter for three stars as well. Um, this Liz down here we have, if we got like a regular SAO one, she'd probably be like fire. I mean, not like these colors essentially are set in stone. You know, anyone could essentially be anything to an extent. Um, you know, if we got like a regular Klein, he'd probably be like non-elemental or stuff. So it'd be interesting to see who would exactly be what color. I could see maybe like an Argo being, uh, a wind unit if they decide to give us an Argo, but... I don't really see an Argo coming anytime soon. But uh, overall, it'll just be interesting to see what we get. Uh, if we are going to get them, probably like on Tuesday or Wednesday, we might see like a preview for whatever banner is going to be coming. I think that gives us enough days in between this. Because this banner has been up for like two days now. This goes away on the 14th, actually, so it's not going to be here crazy long. But uh, I think it'll just be interesting overall to see what we get. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. See you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.